Hi, this is Erin White with An Intervention and welcome to week four of the Celtic Coast Shawl Quarantine Knit Along. Now I realize week four was like three weeks ago, but I did have to get a new computer and my new computer finally arrived, yay. So I have the space in order to edit and do what I need to, um, but I'm currently filming this on my iPhone because the web camera that comes on the new MacBook Airs is a really, it's not a very good quality for the amount of money that you pay for a MacBook Air. Apparently the MacBook Pro has the, you know, the 1080p, uh, nice digital camera, um, but the MacBook Air only has the 7, uh, the 720. It's not very good. It's, it's not very good. So anyway, back to the Celtic Coast Shawl Quarantine Knit Along Week 4, finally the video. And I got my five color fade Celtic Coast Shawl back from Kat from Why Not Fibers. And you're gonna hear dog paws walking around on a hardwood floor in here because I have puppies and that happens. So I got my five color fade Celtic Coast Shawl back from Kat at Why Not Fibers. Um, the shawl was going to go to YarnCon in April. Um, obviously that was canceled, but the shawl has made its rounds to a couple of local yarn shops that sell Why Not Fiber um, yarns. So, you know, she made her rounds and, and she got some, some kits sold. But uh, for week four, you are going to be into your lattice stitch section. So you'll be, um, if you are doing the three color fade, you'll be transitioning to your third color um, right towards the beginning of the, uh, of the lattice stitch section. If you are doing the five color fade, you will also be switching to your fifth color in the lattice stitch section. Um, and for the five color fade, you are going to be using almost a full skein of yarn. Uh, same thing with the three color fade. Uh, so you're gonna be using about 300 to 400 yards of yarn. Uh, so you're gonna be into the lattice stitch section, the final uh, double garter stitch border and an I-cord bind off. And the I-cord bind off is 400 and it's like 450 some stitches. Um, it is not a small I-cord bind off. There is, you're gonna be spending a lot of time working on the I-cord bind off, but as you can see, it turned out, it turns out quite lovely. Um, also for the center braid, you will see that you will stop doing the center braid at the beginning of the final double garter uh, section here. And you'll also notice that because the braid has stopped, that it does flare out just a little bit because the braid does cause it to get a little bit smaller down the center. So you'll have a little bit of a flare. So it's a triangle shawl, but it doesn't have an exact point at the, uh, at the bottom of it. And yeah, so this is, oh, and so up here for the, uh, the top um, two by two left cross and light right cross cables, you'll see that unlike the, um, unlike the center braid, it does go all the way to the edge, to the I-core bind off. So that will be um, all the way to the edge. So that's the main difference between the braids. Um, normally the braids, you know, kind of go along with each other until the end. Um, and yeah, it is, uh, I hope that you had fun making this shawl. I had a lot of fun creating this shawl and I am still working on my, on my, uh, on my third shawl. Um, which I was supposed to do along with this, uh, with this quarantine knit along, but that, that didn't really happen. Um, I'm still working on it and I hope to have it done 
eventually. Uh, but what I love about this shawl and what I hope that you will love about this shawl is that because it is knit with fingering weight yarn on size six needles, it makes it a little bit larger. It makes it a little bit more airy. It doesn't put big holes in it. Um, but when you block it out, it does, you know, it's, it's perfect for a light covering, uh, on a summer, summer's, uh, you know, summer evening, or it's a nice spring, um, shawl. It goes with a lot of different, you know, outfits. Um, you can use it in the winter as a scarf, just wrap it around a couple of times. I like to wear it at work. Um, this has to be one of my favorite shawls to wear just in general. I am a huge fan of big shawls that feel like a portable hug and that's kind of what this is for me. Um, it is a very, it's a very fancy portable hug if I do say so myself and I absolutely love all the progress that everybody has made that I've seen and I look forward to, uh, I look forward to having another knit along in the future for another one of my projects. Um, the way I have this knit along set up, even though I call it the quarantine knit along, um, part of the reason I'm making the videos for this is so that way you can work along at your own pace. I probably should have made that little disclaimer on the first week, but I'll probably make another video just kind of outlining, outlining that. Um, and yeah, I thank you. Thank you very much for, for joining. Um, this knit along. If you are posting progress pictures out on uh, out on Instagram or Facebook, make sure to use the hashtags uh, hashtag Celtic Coast Shawl or hashtag Celtic Coast Shawl QCal for the quarantine knit along, or you can just use hashtag Celtic Coast Shawl Cal K A L for for knit along um, because hopefully knit-alongs will be happening after quarantine and hopefully quarantine won't last forever. We'll see. Um, yeah, happy knitting and have a wonderful day.